Hey YouTube, this is my third time recording this, so I'm gonna go fast. Uh, this is the effect we're gonna be creating today. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go file, new, uh, file, new, new project. And uh, nope, don't wanna save any changes or anything. Hit control I to import media, or go file, import, file find your footage and this is my footage it doesn't have to be on a green screen doesn't have to do any of that crap and we're not even going to be using any programs besides after effects today so that's pretty cool like there's another tutorial on this but he uses blender and i thought that was ridiculous because there's a much easier way so i'm going to just edit the clip so i'll come down here when i want the clip to start Alt to begin bracket. Come down here when I want where I want the clip to end. Alt end bracket. Drag the clip over here and then you can move the work area bar. So that when you do a RAM preview, this is the only part that's gonna be shown. So uh we got this very basic clip, and that's all we're gonna be using. We're going to be using nothing more than this. Which is pretty nice. Before doing anything, go Control D to duplicate it, and then go to this bottom layer and just turn it off. Then, we're going to animate this for when we want the water to begin. Or, er, we're going to edit this, so I always do that. Edit the top clip. So, like that. Then the water is going to be over by this, so because the water is going to be like animating up and then it's going to be flying forward and you could always use motion tracking for this effect but we're not going to for this one because this part is this one so basic and if you want to see the effect in action go to the um go to my channel i have a montage of me doing this effect so go down transform opacity and Come over here, and we'll keyframe it. Hit the keyframe button, stopwatch. Then move it over a little, and fade it out. So our water is going to fade out. Now, I know this doesn't look too much like water right now, because we haven't applied the water effect. So, go to, type in Merc, and CC Mr. Mercury will come up. Oh yeah, by the way, I did try adding a ripple effect to this scene, but it didn't work out. So, you can add a ripple to make it look better. And that's why I've had to re-record this twice, because I tried with the ripple, or three times, or whatever. Okay, so we got this, um, we got this watery thing, that's pretty nice. It's real, this is actually a very strong effect, and it, it's default, it's just like a waterfall thing. We're gonna change it from explosive to twirly, then we're gonna come down to this eye, check it. So we got this effect, it's just water. And I'm going to animate the producer. So the producer is where the particles are going to come out. So keyframe producer. Right here. And right here we're going to have the particles begin. Oh, I don't know. Here. Right where his hands are maybe. That might help. And we're going to animate it coming up. So, go up the particles, and then we're going to animate it coming out at you, so just like down. Okay, so, um, here, I'm just going to make this up a little bit, and now we can, and it does like a fade out here because of what we did. 
the with the opacity. So now we can um work with this effect to make it look better. So before doing anything, I'm gonna go to the resistance and I'm gonna well first the gravity. I'm gonna put the gravity down to four point four. And that I'll make the gravity less. And then the resistance is gonna come up and basically what that is the particles won't be able to move too much before they move away from the producer very much before they die, so. And here, this is a good spot to edit. We'll animate, we'll put the resistance up even more. That's quite a bit of resistance there. Um, another thing we can do is turn down the longevity, and that's how long the particles are going to last. So if you put that down, you know what? I have to put that on top. Here, we'll put this slide over. We'll put the longevity down so the particles don't last too long. We'll put it down even more because they're still lasting quite long. And they like fade away. So then when it comes out at you, I'm gonna come over here to the blob birth and that size, and that'll we'll keyframe that, and then we'll come over here to when we want the particles to get huge before they fade out and put that up a ton and put that up a ton so let's watch it it's gonna be kind of a slow bake and the water just flies out at you so that's pretty cool And you can't really tell there's a fade, because it's just going to be going too fast. But now what we're going to do to make it look more watery, is come over here, and take the curves. And take these curves, and put it down to the top one. And I'm going to come to the blue channel, and boost that up. That gives it kind of a little bit more watery. And it's looking a little purple, so we'll go to red. And put that down. Negative boost to the reds. Then we'll go to the greens and boost that up just a little. And that looks really good. So this is the effect we just created. And you can use that for a variety of things. Now, if you want to freeze the water, that can... Well, first I'd recommend doing a fade-in with this. But if you wanted to freeze the water, then... Uh, well, it's not that hard to figure out. All I did was fade it uh, an ice texture, and then masked it around where the water was to make, like, an icicle or whatever. So, yeah, this is how we did this effect. And it's looking really cool. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my first channel, and if you like subscribe to this one i don't really care about this one too much i care about the first channel so there's a link right there so click it and goodbye